Today, we will talk about how to file a petition for child custody. Let's have a look at the details. Although child custody normally is determined during the course of a divorce proceeding, there are other circumstances in which you would need to file a separate petition to establish custody of your child. Typically a petition for child custody would be used when there was no divorce proceeding because you were never married to the child's other parent. While specific procedures differ from state to state and even among courts within a state, the basic steps to file a petition for child custody are similar throughout the United States. The first step is drafting your petition. Find the right court. Since each court has its own rules regarding custody petitions, it's important to first identify the court where you'll be filing your petition. Typically you need to file in the county where the child lives. Keep in mind that in some counties you would use the county court of general jurisdiction, while others have a specific family court for divorce and child custody issues. If a court has already established paternity of the child pursuant to an order, or if you have another order granting child support, you typically must file your petition for child custody in that court. Gather documentation. Depending on the context in which you're filing for custody, you may have to supply different types of documentation to the court along with your petition. You typically must have evidence that paternity for the child has been established. This would consist of either an affidavit acknowledging paternity that was signed by both parents when the child was born, a declaration of paternity filed by the father, or a court order declaring the man the legal father of the child. You also will need the child's birth certificate and copies of any other court orders such as a child support order that pertain to the child. If you have not yet had paternity of your child established, you may first need to file a complaint to establish paternity. You typically can have the judge decide custody of the child in the same order that establishes paternity. Search for appropriate forms. Many courts have fill in the blank forms you can use to file a petition for child custody. Draft your petition. If you're using a prepared form, make sure you fill in all areas honestly and completely. Fill out any other required forms. Different courts have different forms that must accompany a petition for child custody. The second step is filing your petition. Sign your petition. In some jurisdictions, you may be required to sign your petition in the presence of a notary public. Take your paperwork to the clerk's office. The clerk of the court that will hear your case must file your petition and assign it a file number. Have the other parent served. Once you've filed your petition, the other parent must have noticed that you've requested a custody determination from the court. File your proof of service. When your petition has been delivered to the other parent, you typically must file a document showing that he or she has notice of the case. And, the third step is preparing for your hearing. Wait for an answer from the other parent. After the other parent is served, he or she typically has a period of time to file an answer to your petition. Consider consulting an attorney. Although uncontested custody proceedings are generally simple enough to handle on your own, you may want to get legal representation if the other parent is contesting your petition, and especially if the other parent has hired an attorney. Attend any required parenting classes. Some jurisdictions require parents filing for custody to successfully complete parenting classes dealing with aspects of legal custody and the best interests of the child. Participate in mediation. Many courts require parents in custody proceedings to attempt to arrive at an agreement regarding parenting time before a court hearing will be scheduled. Organize your evidence and information. If you and the other parent don't come to an agreement on custody arrangements, you must prepare for a court hearing on the matter. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.